We're moving back to Minnesota, guys. Surprise! We used to live here. Do you remember that? There's all of our pictures from when we come here. Oh my gosh, you guys, my old stomping grounds. What's going on, you guys? It feels so weird, like, vlogging and, like, being in Minnesota. You know, I've got a rental car, and not that it feels weird, it's just, like, so nostalgic. Like, we're literally getting on the highway, going back to... Yeah, do, yeah, doing the drive, like, going home. And it feels weird, like, I'm, like, in, you know, like, business attire like I would have normally been. I have, like, my... I haven't worn my lanyard in forever. You know, he picked me up off of work. A laundry is knocked hours. out in the car because a laundry would always be knocked out in the car whenever he would pick me up from work. And now we're headed home. Although I would typically be the one driving home and he would be going to work. So it's just unless like, was, yeah, like, off. yeah, unless he was off. And then, but he only drove me to work if it was like a snow day, he would drive me. But anyways, and then pick me up. And then of course we're getting ready to hit that beautiful traffic. But it's just so like, it's so nostalgic. Like I, I just like, I love it, but it also makes me so sad at the same time. Like it makes me almost want to cry. Like, I don't know. Like, I don't know how to explain. It makes me emotional. Like, does that make sense? Does it make you emotional at all? Does it make you emotional at all? It does for me because I, f I think about like, this is where our relationship really flourished. You know what I mean, babe? Like, we got pregnant here, we had Alondra here, we got married, like, this is where we made our life together as a couple. Like, yeah, we were like a couple and boyfriend and girlfriend in California, but I mean, we like were living together full time out here. We weren't living together, I mean, practically in California, but I mean, not really. So, I don't know, I don't know, that's just, I feel like this is where like we grew as a couple and, we're, and this is where we became a family. So for me, it's very like, it makes me very emotional and stuff like that. Oh, my friend is texting me. I better call and text him. Does she call me though? No, I better text her back then. Um, oh, she's like, here's my address. I know your address, Sam. Um, but anyways, no, she says it's still the same place. But um, so anyways, yeah, I don't know. It's just like so it's so crazy and it's and it's been a year and a half because we left February last year so it's literally been a year and a half but I haven't been back since I've only been back one time but literally it was um I flew into the airport went to work did like a like a review and then I took some calls and then I took a flight back so literally I only saw the airport and like my old work building I didn't see anything else and nobody's in my cubicle still my old cubicle no one's taken over that cubicle They're I was like it. that's right that's right no one can replace me <laughs> but it was really cool to see all my old co-workers like my little like cube mates it was like really so nice she to see all of them and stuff I know I should I know like it was just really cool to like see all of them and try to catch up and it was cool too for all of them to see Alondra because they brought me lunch today good old Chick-fil-A and um, everybody was so I know because they used to always bring me Chick-fil-A too for lunch like when they brought were able to bring me lunch they brought me Chick-fil-A so it's funny but I mean everybody was like oh my god look at your daughter and everybody was like she's just so big and so beautiful I remember when you were pregnant and it's it is kind of cool because they basically saw her like from the womb to like born and everything so I don't know it's just really cool um, that's nice. It feels like a nice big like family reunion. So it's just pretty cool though. And yeah, now we're just gonna drive over this bridge, stuck in traffic, like always. And the weather, you guys, feels so nice. Like Minnesota is usually mainly cold. We only, we only like I still live here, but they only get like three to four good months of weather. But it feels really nice out. It isn't. It doesn't feel as hot here as it does in Cali. And it's like what 80 degrees. 84. It's 84 degrees. And then Cali, it's normally like. I don't know, it depends, but it doesn't feel as hot. It actually feels like nice. Like, look, I'm in a sweater <laughs> and pants, but but anyways, um, yeah. What, everyone's staring at me because we're in traffic and I have a camera? I was looking at oh. you when you were wearing. Oh yes, I know, I look like. But anyways, so, I don't know. It was just really nice. So it was actually a really good day, although it was really hard for me to stay awake. I kept like doing one of these and I kept yawning like crazy and my arms getting tired. So yeah, that, that was the only bummer because I am two hours, I'm two hours ahead. So it's, you know, my training starts at 8.30 in the morning, but I, it's really 
6.30 my time, and so I woke up at 6.30 today, which is really 4.30 my time, so yeah. And I went to bed kind of late because I couldn't really fall asleep. Adam was knocked out. He was out. Alondra was awake on our table, and I was like, no, you gotta put that away. But Adam was like, babe, you're gonna be really tired. You need to go to bed. I was like, okay, sassy. <laughs> but it's true, I needed to go to bed so I wouldn't be tired, but like, it took me forever to knock out. I just laid in bed with like the TV off and the lights out, and I was just like, oh my God can't fall asleep but anyways I know I'm rambling for a while I'm sorry guys I just just wanted to talk to you but anyways right now we are headed to our old stomping grounds well our yeah, other they opened it. oh look at that that is open that's cool um I should say our old living ground so we're headed to Burnsville if you guys didn't know we lived in Burnsville I don't know if we ever like did we ever publicly say that when we lived in Burnsville? I have no idea. But we lived in Burnsville. Love Burnsville. So, so, so much. Burnsville's like the bomb.com in our opinion. So anyways, we're headed to Burnsville right now. We want to go and like see our old apartment and see where we used to live and just, you know, just be more nostalgic. Like this seriously is just going to be like a nostalgia kind of day. And then tomorrow going to Pizzeria Lola, which is going to be more nostalgic as well. Like. Oh my God, just making me not want to leave Minnesota. <laughs> we're moving back to Minnesota, guys. Surprise! <laughs> but anyways, yes, yeah, so we're going to go like see all that, see our little old area. I hope Alondra wakes up because I kind of want her to see it, but I don't know. And then we're going to go to our friend. Um, I know I had um, Caressa. I know you asked me, but just in case anybody else, we're going to go and see. Oh, can you see? Sorry. One second. We're changing things, guys. Okay, we're good. Um, yeah, we're gonna go see my friend Sam and Chris and her daughter Remy, and then they actually had a son. Um, but I met him one time right before we moved, but I don't think he was ever on a vlog or anything like that because I think he was like mm, like a month old like when I met him, and like that was the first and only time, so. And that was right before we moved. So anyways, yeah, I'm really excited to see them just because like Alondra, we always were like hanging out with him and stuff like that, so it'll be really nice. And, yeah, I'ma stop go I'm gonna I'ma go and stop rambling. If I could take you up in boom boom bush, boom boom tell me I'm the only one that you know Life could be a dream, sweetheart. Honestly, Alondra is still asleep, so I don't want to like, well, number one, it's raining, so I don't want to all go in the rain. We and number two, here. remember? Look, you're, Gorda, we used to live here. Do you remember that? You remember? We used to live there, baby. Why is it raining? Why is it raining outside? Because it rains in everywhere but California for some reason. <laughs> Why is it raining? Yeah, it just rains here. Look, baby, that's where you used to live. Do you remember? Mom. No. <laughs> what, baby? Do you, do you remember, Gorda? What is this? You used to live up there. You used to live right up here. Look, guys. Let me actually show you. Stop right here, baby. No cars behind you, right? Okay, so we're not going to get out, but this was our second apartment. So this door right here, you can't tell that's my finger making that motion. So anyways, that door right there, that was our second apartment. Our first apartment is, good. well, there's the window. No, actually, I think that's, no, that's, that's the, the window to the kitchen, actually. So those, our first apartment, oh, you can see the window actually right beyond those trees. If you can like see it, but it's, it's hard to tell, we but to that was our first apartment right we there. Right and there. then we used to live, the other first apartment was right there. We literally lived, the first apartment was there. Then we moved literally right next door into the second apartment. That's where we used to live, baby. But yeah, you guys, that's where we used to live. I'm so sad that it was raining. Of course, she's awake now. And like they built 
These are like new, I don't know if it's like condos or apartments, but that's all new. That was not there before. That was literally all grass. It's townhomes? Yeah, because they all have the garage. Oh, yeah. It's, that literally was just like a one big, like, grassy area. So that's definitely new. Um, but everything else still looks the same, like, around here anyways. But, yeah, and the ski slopes were, like, literally right there. We had, like, the perfect location where we lived in, in Burnsville, like, because the ski slopes are right there. The mall is right there. That, like, the main um, road has, like, Mom, Mom, everything. Mom, Super Target, Mom, Costco, Mom, Cub, Mom, all your eating. Yes, Mom, baby? Chick-fil-A, yeah. Starbucks? You went in the pool? I know, Daddy told me you went in the pool. But yeah, oh, I'm so sad it was raining, but I guess that probably would have been like weird us like walking up to like where we used, like our old apartments. It's kind of cool though that both of our apartments are literally like boop boop right there next door to each other. But I'm out of work, we're gonna go see Remy now, okay? Okay, mommy, we're gonna go play, yay. But yeah, so that was nice. Ah, <sighs> memory lane, you guys. But you guys are gonna get so sick of me being like on nostalgic probably, but hashtag sorry, not sorry. This is just like holds a special place to my heart. But alright guys, we're gonna go now and head to Sam's house. It'll probably take us like, I don't know what, 15, 20 minutes? 20 minutes it's depending on traffic. I don't know if I'm gonna vlog there to be honest. Uh so IDK my BFF jail. So um if you don't see any footage like while there, sorry. But anyways. Check in later. Are you excited to see Remy, baby? You excited? Here, give me a hand. Are you got it? Good. Uh, who are we gonna go see? Remy. Remy? Are you so excited? Yay! Were you guys eating? Mmm. So oh, yummy. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, you oh, you got cheese, and look, you and Remy kind of match. Just try it. Just try it. Straight just try your fruit. Okay, fine. Just eat your cheese and eat. Try, just try other things, okay? Oh, uh, but yesterday. I but Remy's home. sharing her pretty dress with the laundry. Thanks, Remy. <laughs> yeah. Cheese. Yeah. Cheese. 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 And he runs away. Cheese. Don't move your arms, Gorda. Don't move your arms. I'm moving. Don't move. Don't move your arms. Cheese. <laughs> what? Chachos. It is currently 4.55. It is the next day, so it is Tuesday. I think I'm gonna combine like yesterday and today and maybe Wednesday together as like one vlog. I mean, well by the time you're watching this, you'll already know what I've decided to do. So I guess I really shouldn't even go into like trying to figure it out right now. But I finished my day two of training and it went really well. And yeah, we are now headed to Pizzeria Lola. I am so freaking excited. That was Eat and I's fave, right? That was your favorite. My favorite. It was our favorite restaurant. It is a pizza restaurant if you're not familiar. Um, like, well, if you live in Minnesota, like in the Twin Cities area, you have to eat a pizza Lola. If you have not eaten there, I don't know what y'all have been doing because that place is amazing. I only knew about it because of Edam, but he found out because it was on um, diners, dive-ins, and drives. And so, um, he has like his, um, why am I trying to blank? What is his name? What's up, baby? What's up, Guy Fieri? Guy Fieri. And he has his little, like, What's up, baby? picture or little, like, sign there. But yeah, so that's why we went there to, like, Burn try it out feet? because of that. But oh my god, you guys, their food, the their pizza yeah. is so good. They also have specialties, oh seasonal stuff. Doesn't look good. And then, oh, the you already looked it up? All green olives. Yeah, well, I'm getting the Iowan. That is my favorite it is prosciutto with um olive oil okay, no not olive oil it's prosciutto with um arugula do they put olive oil in it or is it tra no. it's just that right no. what's on the bottom goat cheese goat cheese thank you i don't know why i was thinking it had like olive oil or truffle oil but it doesn't but it's so good the prosciutto though i do get mine cooked they usually do it raw but when i first when we first started eating at pizzeria lola I was pregnant. Actually, our first time eating there, I was pregnant and it was Father's Day. That was our very first time. Um, so I always had to get the prosciutto cooked. I had it one time uncooked. What baby? What baby? Giant cookies. Yeah, giant cookies. They have the best cookies there, you guys. You get three. It has like sea salt on the top and you get milk and they're like so warm and ewy and gooey there. Oh my God, they're just so freaking good. I'm so excited. Yeah, we were just, well, 
I just showed Alondra a picture of her like eating a cookie. It was like on Edom's like Instagram, but I guess he was showing her like earlier today, so she wanted to see it again. But I don't know. I'm so excited. Like we're like we have to have to go to Pizza Lola. Yeah, last time you ate the giant cookie, but baby, you have to have pizza first before no. cook. Yes. No. All right, we'll have that discussion later. So, anyways, we're gonna go eat there, and then what time does the mall close? You said. 30, so I'm guessing the stores close like around 9 ish. I would assume that all the stores close at 9 32, though, if that's what time the mall closes, right? I'm just so I don't know, we'll see. It is currently five o'clock, so we should hopefully be done by like 6 37. Depending on the way, yeah, depending on the way and like all that kind of stuff, and then hopefully have at least an hour to do some shopping because we haven't, I haven't even gone into the Mall of America yet, and you guys haven't really done anything either. Yeah, Alondra's been just like chilling at the pool. So what did you do today? You went to the pool this morning, brought me, bre well you brought me breakfast, went to the pool, brought me lunch, went back and she just napped, and then picked me up. Yeah. Yeah, not bad. But yeah, so anyways, hopefully we'll have time to go to the mall because tomorrow is Wednesday, that's my last day, and theirs too. So they're gonna leave before I do, and then, um, I have a confirmed flight home and my flight's like obviously after training and it's late at night. So, um, so yeah, we won't be, so I won't have time to go to the Mall of America at all tomorrow. And so, yeah. But anyways, all right you guys, we will see you guys at Pizzeria Lola. So excited. There it is, Pizzeria Lola. I am so excited and it looks like there's no wait. Parking lot was empty, so I'm excited. How excited are you, honey? Baba really excited? Diner. How excited are you? I eat Baba diner. You're gonna eat the carne? Well, we're getting pizza, so we're gonna have pizza. <laughs> Just so you guys can see, that's the thing I was talking about from Guy Fieri from Diners, Dives, In and Drive. So his little sign is there. It's pretty cool. All right, you guys, we got our pizza. This is my favorite here, the Iowa and the cooked prosciutto with arugula. This is Edam's favorite, the Lady Zaza, which is spicy and it has a bunch of I don't even know, honestly, but it's kind of like Asian flavors. It has kimchi. Oh yeah, it has kimchi. And then over here is just the uh, margarita pizza that we got for Alondra. So she'll eat something, so. Better eat that pizza if you want some cookies, girl. But all right, y'all, we are about to get down on pizza. this pizza that's right these are the cookies we we're talking about you guys you get three with milk and i got an extra milk grab it gorda oh it's hot yeah they are warm usually they're not hot. they're not hot they're warm they're warm eat it oh you're gonna dip oh okay you're gonna dip your cookie it's because it's so big it's because it's so big are you gonna break it yeah all right who taught you this i've never seen you eat a cookie like this all right what do we think? Good? Isn't it so yummy? Oh, babe, you should take a picture of her like how when she was little and compare the picture. Okay. All right, well, y'all, sorry, guys. I gotta get back to my cookies now. And now we're gonna take a picture and like this is the photo booth. They have a photo booth here and then you can put your picture all along this wall. I mean, it goes literally all the way from here all the way down there and we already found our pictures. We literally have done this every single time that we have eaten at Pizzeria Lola except for one time. I don't know why we didn't do it the one time, but one time we did it. But yeah, so we just actually found all of our pictures so it's still on the wall. Um, there's one picture that we did put on the wall that is missing, but we've known that it's been but missing since even before we left. But I don't know why it's missing. Yeah, Daddy's gonna go get a code right now. So we gotta get a code to like put it in the system so we can take a picture. And then you can either keep both halves or cut it down the middle and like put one on the wall and then you keep the other one. And we always keep the other one. Oh, it's not working? No. Yeah, we have to wait for our code. I'm sorry. Oh, it's okay, we gotta wait for, oh, there's Daddy right now with the code. So yeah, so we're gonna do this. Oh, okay. So we're gonna go ahead and, um, yeah, take our pictures. Oh. There it goes, where'd it go? You got our pictures? Let's see them. Can mommy see? Oh, they came out so good. I really like them. The bottom one, Alondra's not looking, but that's okay. I like them. So here is all of our pictures. I literally just put this one up. 
but like this was the one when we first came here when we were pregnant for Father's Day and we hadn't really even announced it yet. This is another one of just like me and Iram. When Mama Madi came, this was today. This is another one, obviously these were after Alondra was born. You wanna see him? We'll show you, you wanna see him? Yeah, here let daddy pick you up, let me see. But yeah, there's all of our pictures from when we come here. All right, you guys, we are back actually at our hotel. So we're literally in our hotel right now and we are walking right into the Mall of America. It's really cool. They have this little like walkway here and literally there's the mall. What, baby? That's the mall, I know, I'm so excited. I do, I love this mall and I love that it's tax free on clothes and it's only 6.30, guys. So we actually made it out of there and back here by 6.30, so it worked out perfectly. Now we just have to figure out what store we want to go to. I think Edan wants to go to Levi's and I definitely want to hit up like Old Navy because Old Navy is a store that all three of us can shop at. So, um, I don't know. I think that's kind of it really for like store stores we really want to go into, but I mean, they don't close till like 9 or 9.30, so we're just gonna walk around and get our shop on. Oh yeah, you guys. I definitely love and miss this big old Forever 21. Yeah, you got lots of stuff. And now we're going upstairs. This Forever 21 is amazing, but it's also very overwhelming. Ah! Oh yeah, we did some shopping. Actually, not too bad. Yeah, Alondra got definitely spoiled the most. And then mommy and then daddy, I guess, huh? But it's 8.53 and the mall's closing in like nine, seven minutes. So we did good, huh? What's going on, muchachos? Happy Wednesday, it's 5.52. I am currently at the airport and my flight doesn't leave for two hours. So I got a bit and I've been here since about 5.15. I got the security really quick, so it was good. Training was really good. Idam and Alondra made it back to San Diego. It was kind of stressful today, honestly. This looks blurry. There we go. It was kind of stressful today because the non-stop flight or the direct flight um, was really good and then all of a sudden it went to like zero seats and they couldn't make the flight. So they ended up flying to San Jose, California and then San Jose to San Diego. So they made it. All is good. Um, they actually landed like maybe 30 minutes ago. But I am getting ready to eat and I am so excited you guys because I'm getting ready to have some mushroom poutine. If you don't know what poutine is, it's Canadian. It's french fries with great and cheese and it is delicious but this one has mushrooms and oh, I'm gonna show you guys here's what it looks like I've never had it before at the airport or with mushrooms but I am so excited I love poutine and I love mushrooms so I have a feeling this is gonna be bomb I probably shouldn't be saying that word though in the airport <laughs> What's going on muchachos? It's the next day. Um, I'm just like busy like putting away clothes and stuff and unpacking. It's been like a really busy morning and it's only 10? Yeah, 10-ish. So anyways, sorry I didn't end the vlog last night. I got home really late. I didn't get home till 10.40 and I was just honestly exhausted. So um, actually I'm putting away all of Alondra's new clothes. I never even did. I edited all of the vlog up until like this point here so i need to just add this clip and export and the vlog will be up um but yeah i'm just like i said i'm packing but these are all of alondra's new clothes i can show you guys because i realized when i was editing i never showed you guys the the new clothes that i got so i will go ahead and show you guys then try to make this quick but everything i got alondra was on clearance i got her stuff at carter's um well, I only got one thing at Carter's, so I can show you this. I got her this bathing suit. She really needed a new bathing suit because all of hers are just a little too tight. And so this was on clearance. Um, see? Clearance Carter's. Super cute. Unicorns and rainbows. This is definitely a laundry. I'm going to wash it so she can wear it today for swim lessons. So I got that at Carter's for only $7. And, you know, no sales tax on clothes, which I love. Then I got all of this at Old Navy on clearance. I thought this shirt was freaking adorable. Like, I don't know. I just thought it was adorable. So I got this on clearance for $5.99. Then I got this dress, which she loves dresses. And so I thought it was super cute. And so I got it for $7, this dress here. And then I got the same dress. Oh, I'll just show you real quick. I got the same dress in like this mint color. Just thought it was really cute. Then I got a romper. I love this romper. I thought it was adorable, and I just think rompers are perfect. Yeah, this is, uh, it was 
$8.99. This I was on the fence about. It was so adorable, but I just I didn't love the price. What? Oh, I know. I showed them your bathing suit already. You love it? Yeah. I know. She's so excited. This was on clearance for $8.49. I don't know. I was hoping it would be like $4 or $5. It was normally $14.99, so it wasn't that much discounted, but Edom really liked it, and I did too, so I got it. So, oh, what? Oh, yes, we also got these. We got these little, like, jelly sandals. These were on clearance for $7.99. Lessons. Yeah, you can wear them from pool lessons, okay? But not dirty. No, they're not dirty. I just have to take the tags off. So I also got that at Old Navy. I also got a launcher, two pairs of jeans at the children's place for $7.99. Yeah, I got to take that off. Oh, I got myself this dress at uh, Forever 21. It probably doesn't look like much, but it's just like a simple gray, kind of like sweater type material so i got that dress yeah i don't know i just really liked it i thought it'd be like cozy i already put edom stuff oh edom got this shirt at old navy really cute he also got a pair of shorts i got a oh god a pair of pants which are already put away and as i'm tripping and i got this shirt at forever 21 so it's just like a yellow white and striped shirt but yeah, that's just a really quick haul then of everything that we got at the Mall of America because I know I didn't show you guys. But I need to end this vlog because this vlog is really long. I asked you guys what you wanted all three days together for a very long vlog or separate. And the majority won with all three together. So that's why I did this. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and go. I will see you guys tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed going down memory lane and all the nostalgia. Hopefully you guys like didn't hate it too much. But I think it's kind of cool too. Maybe if you guys watched and if you've watched since we lived in Minnesota. For you, it's kind of like nostalgia as well. And nostalgic as well. But anyways, yeah. So I'm going to go. I hope you guys did enjoy our little Minnesota trip. Please give this video a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye, muchachas.